Uh, hello, MET240 students. This is Dr. Vukica Jovanovic, and I'm about to show you how I would do the part number two, slide bound. So you see here, this is the block, and I will do the machinist approach. I will start with a design envelope of uh, five by eight, and I will extrude that four symmetrically, and then I will start cutting these um, things that are not there. So I will create a new standard part and I will go here to the um, I'll just wait until it gets loaded and then um, I, will, I will save this to the right folder so I will just go here and say file save as save as and I'll go to the right folder. I already have something with the same name. And um, I'll start with um, I'll create sketch in um, X and Y plane and the sketch that I'll create will be a rectangle from the 0, 0 and this would be 8 and the height will be 5 inches and then middle mouse key zoom everything in finish and now middle mouse key twice and I would like to extrude this profile and I would like to have symmetric extrude and I'll do four so it will be four symmetrically and if you're not sure if you're doing the right thing you can always go inspect distance and then select a line and then see if it's four inches then it looks good and now I will remove the part you see this one here and I will use dimension three three and this radius of three so here I'll have a line and then one uh, arc center will be somewhere down and I will use this three so I'm going to inventor and I'll select create, uh, create two dimensional sketch from this side and I'll create one circle like this and I will create one line from the upper quadrant to this line and I will create the line from here to here because I need these two lines for trimming and and I will select the one I just did the last one from left to right and create that to be construction because I don't actually need that for extrusion and then I can middle mouse click twice Twice. and then I'll go here and do the trimming so remove what I don't need like these things and I'll dimension from here to here this dimension will be 3 and this point from this point that will also be 3 and then the radius of this arc will be 3 as well so this is what I need I'll remove this part this thing from there and I'll say I would like to extrude this and I will choose cut and I will choose through, through all and that's it accept that, save, make sure you save Next, I can turn on views and shade it with edges so you see a little bit better and um, after this um, I might create, you see this when you when I have 5.5 and 2.5 and then I will create, I will cut here one rectangle shape and later I will add this radius of one point this one or I can do that later, you see this one and I and here, here I have another cut and I have here dimensions 2 and then the other one from there, 4 so let's see. I mean, I might try. I might make maybe a mistake, and then later I'll try to fix it. So I'll, I'll say here I like to create a sketch, and all I need is one rectangular shape. And dimensions I have for this are from here to here, 5.5, 5.5, and the other one will be 2.5, 2.5. Finish, and I'll just extrude this through everything. And I'll say here cut and through all. That's it. And now I'll try to add fillet here. Maybe I, I need to add this fillet later. I can try now and see later. I can delete and start all over again. 
one. And so now I have here, um, you see this one here. And let's see if I would like to add this guy here, which dimensions I can use. There's something here which is two. And uh, here I have some radius. It's not really clear in the book. It's one. And I have here four. So I'll add one later, this radius. And now I will create a sketch. So maybe it was better if I added this radius later. I'll just delete it and forget about that for now. I'll, add, I'll remove that later. And I'll create here two dimensional sketch. And all I need is here this rectangular shape, like this. And then um, I will use four from the left. Four. And I have two from, from the top. Like this. Finish. And I'll extrude. You see here how it's, it ends here. So I'll go up to this surface. So if I go here and I'll say extrude this. And I want to say this is the cut. And let's see if I have two next face of body or two selected face. And I can say please go on up to this selected face. And so I selected this one. And now I can add these two radiuses. And let's see. You know, it's important to see which I add first, which I add second. So let's see if it will work. So let's see if I add fillet here of one. It looks nice. Okay, and here I have another fillet. See, it's very simple. All you have to do is select one line, and that's it. So fillets are, are easy if you create them late. I mean, you could do lines. You could cut with lines and fillets. Or you can do it the way I did it. And what else I need to add here? I need to add this hole and dimensions I have for, for the hole. It's 2, 2 and, and diameter 1.75. So I'll say I would need a hole somewhere here, linear. And dimension from, so I selected a face. So first reference is from here, 2. And then another reference from here, it's also 2. And then the diameter should be 1.75. That's it. Is it through all? Let's check. It's OK. And I need just one more thing to finish this part. You see this one here, so it's 0 0.75, 1.5, and I have this distance, 1.25. That's all I need, and I'll just go through all. So I'll say here, create two-dimensional sketch one rectangular shape here dimension this one would be 0 0.75 and this one would be 1.5 and what I have from this point to this point would be 1.25 that's it finish and I'll just go and extrude what I just made through everything with the cut and I'd say through all, so whatever it is. And this is what I have. That's my final part. This is how it looks. And even if I didn't do these in this way, I mean, if I didn't do these fillets, so if I, and let me save this before I show you that. So I can delete these fillets if I didn't want to do it that kind of way. Okay, something is attached there. I can, I could have done these so here I can go edit sketch and I can make fillet here I mean there is the same two dimensional thing for fillets where is it fillet ah here draw fillet and the fillet is one inch and all I have to do is to select a point where the fillet will be like this finish sketch this should be updated like this and I could do the same thing for the other sketch. So you see, the result is the same. I just have one feature, uh, more or less. Now I go back to leave the fillets. And this is all you have to do for this part. And one more time, saving as a PDF is easy. Just go here, I export PDF, and save it in the same folder. And that's when you have this PDF. But before that, maybe do double double click here do the home and then 
um, export PDF over the same thing. That's it. So this was the part one.